Hey guys, welcome back. So today's look is on this um, smoky, glam, glittery eye. I've already done my face makeup. Well, actually, I don't really have any foundation on. I've got a bit of corrector and concealer on um, and my eyebrows are done and I had some lipstick on earlier and you saw me wearing this in my MAC favorites video if you watch that. So this is just for the eyes and I'm starting out with the Shuomura Black Gel Liner. And I'm at, I'm taking that onto a Revlon um, cold pencil. I mean, the pencil doesn't matter because I'm just using the gel. And I'm lining my lower waterline and lash line. And I'm taking it quite far down, um, as you will see. I want this to be really smoky, but I, I want the black to come quite low down. I actually find that this is really flattering. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing on this one. Um, I'm going to do both sides. And as you can see here, and again, dipping into the Shimmer gel liner as often as I need. This liner is really good. It's and it doesn't move. It's budge proof. Um, not entirely waterproof, but definitely budge proof. Uh, so I'm just going to do the same on my upper lash line. And again, I'm not being too neat about this. That's the best thing about this makeup look. It doesn't take long and there's no real precision as such needed. Um, but I'm again lining my lower lash line all the way up to the inner corner. Sorry, upper lash line all the way up to the inner corner as I did with the lower lash line. I'm trying to get the inner waterline as well on my my upper waterline as well. So basically tight line. Um, then here again using the same gel liner, I'm just marking out the outer V where I want the black to go. So again, this is not going to be very neat or precise because I'm going to take a brush and blend this out. But if I'm keeping it to the outer V and um, not taking it into the crease much at all. I seem to have gone a little bit further in with this eye. But um, taking the brush, I'm going to even that out. So again, when I'm blending this out, and I'm using a pencil brush to do this because I want it to stay in the areas that I've marked the black in. Um, I'm not really taking it much further in or... Um, out in on the outer corner. I am taking it round my crease, so I'm taking it almost to the inner corner. Not quite to the inner corner, but almost there. Um, but on the outer edge, I'm trying to keep it where I've actually marked that black. And all I did there was just wipe off the brush because I didn't want to add extra black onto the eye. Then taking Kiko's eyeshadow, I think this is number 200, this is their water eyeshadows onto a flat shader brush and I've actually, I picked up the product and then I wet the brush with some rose water and I'm placing that onto the eye. Now this eyeshadow has glitter in it and when I wet it and apply on it sticks really well. And then once I've got one layer of the foils eyeshadow which is a wet eyeshadow, I'll just go over that with a bit of um, eyeshadow from the pan without wetting it. And then I'm cleaning up any of that glitter that may have gone onto the black with the brush. I haven't taken any product on that brush. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Trying to get both eyes as even as possible, which I think is the hardest. Then using my Sleek O Natural palette, I'm just going to use shades of brown in here. So I'm going to use that the dark brown, which is what I'm, I'm taking there. Um, and I'm just going to blend out the crease slightly. So again, you'll notice that this is not going to be a very blended look. I do want the black to be very definitive, but I want a hint of shading on the crease. So that's why I'm going in with this um, brown. And then taking that yellow and the white at the end, just mixing the two. I'm going to use this as my brow highlight. I'm not going for anything shimmery because the lids are full on. Um, so I've kept the brow bone matte. 
and then taking the black in the palette on a, another flat brush I am just going to pack that in where I've applied the gel beforehand. Now here I'm making sure to press it onto the gel rather than swipe it on because with black you're going to get a ton of fallout otherwise and it's just going to be so hard to clear up because I've already got a bit of concealer on. Um, so I am being really careful with this black. And then taking the same blending brush as before and just blending out the edge slightly. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm now feathering it inwards. So not, again, this is not so much blending, it's just feathering it in to create a little bit of a blend. And then taking the same black and setting the gel liner on the bottom lid. And then taking this peachy shade here, um, I'm just gonna blend out the outer edge of that lower lash line. So this is just to soften that look a little bit. And then taking my Mali Volumizing Mascara and applying a few coats of mascara. Um, false lashes would look amazing. When I actually did do this makeup look, I and I went out. Today I'm just, I've done it and I'm gonna remove it straight after. But I did wear false lashes and it looks really good. Um, so now I'm going to go in with the Sleek Face Form Palette in Dark and I'm just going to contour my face. I like my face to be really, really contoured when I've got looks like this because it's quite a bold look. I like my face makeup to be quite bold as well. I don't use heavy foundation or anything like that when I do makeup like this um, because then I find it's too much but I certainly use contouring products and all of that just to give my face structure. Especially with a red lip, it just seems that you need all of this to make it all fit in together. So again, just using a um, angled brush, I think this is from MAC 168, if I'm not mistaken, and taking the contour shade in the palette and just Applying that in the hollows of my cheek, uh, down my jawline, on my temples, under my chin and using a smaller blending brush and this is an angled brush. Um, again I think this is a MAC brush which is 275. I am slightly contouring my nose. I'm not doing too much on my nose because I don't have foundation or anything like that on my nose. So I don't want it to look muddy or anything like that. And then going in with the blush colour, um, which has a sheen to it, I'm applying that on my cheek. And all this is doing is just warming up my skin. Now although this does have a bit of a sheen to it, I am going to go in with a highlighter as well. And I'm just using the same eyeshadow that I used earlier, which is the Kiko 200 uh, Water Eyeshadow. And on a Real Technique setting brush, and I'm applying that just on the high points of my face. So that's on my cheekbones. Um, I will apply it down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, my brow bone, and above my, out, my eyebrow arch. And I'm just using my fingers there to blend it out a little bit more because it will have put a fair amount of it. Okay, and then going in with the same lipstick that I had on earlier, and this is just the Revlon Matte Balm in Standout. And then I felt that the look wasn't balanced because of the contour and the warmth, warmth on my cheeks. I went in and added the same contour shade, which is slightly warm, onto the crease of my eye, just to balance the look. Um, and then that will be the final step. So... This is a final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Bye!